Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Those who are diagnosed with anxiety in later life may be twice as likely to develop Parkinson's disease, compared to over 50s without the condition, a study suggests. The condition has been thrust back into the spotlight over the weekend amid the electrifying performance of Hollywood legend Michael J. Fox, who suffers from the disease, while on stage at the UK's Glastonbury Festival. The Back to the Future star, 63, joined Coldplay in an eye-watering rendition of their famous track, Fix You, showing that his condition has not stopped him performing gut-busting guitar riffs. Now, an analysis of 100,000 UK adults aged over 50 has revealed one surprising risk factor for developing the disease, which affects around a million Americans. The team tracked diagnoses of Parkinson's, which causes debilitating tremors, among other symptoms, in people diagnosed with an anxiety episode in the course of the 10-year study. They compared the rate of diagnoses to a group of Parkinson's patients who'd never been diagnosed with the mental health condition. The team found that the risk of developing the condition within 10 years of an anxiety diagnosis was twice as high for anxious participants. Some experts said the results presented a compelling case for anxiety over the age of 50 to be considered a possible early warning sign for PD. However, some scientists say it is difficult to tell whether anxiety pre-exists Parkinson's or if it is a symptom of Parkinson's itself. The study authors suggested anxiety could indicate a brain-first type of the condition when signs of the disease can be seen on brain scans before it starts causing obvious symptoms. Parkinson's disease is the world's fastest-growing neurodegenerative disorder, with nearly 90,000 Americans now diagnosed with the disease every year, up 50% from the previous estimate of 60,000. It is a debilitating condition, which causes nerves in the center of the brain that are linked to movement to die or degenerate. Sufferers may suffer a slight tremor in one hand or stiffness in part at first. But in later stages of the disease, patients may find it difficult to stand or walk or may suddenly freeze without warning. There is no cure for the condition, although the advance of its symptoms may be slowed with some medications. Men are twice as likely as women to be diagnosed with the condition, which tends to strike at the age of 60 years or older. However, it can affect people as young as 20. Michael J. Fox was diagnosed aged 29. In the study, Researchers at University College London, UCL, analyzed data between the years 2008 and 2018. Patients who had anxiety were mostly female, overweight, did not drink alcohol and were aged between 50 and 54 years old at the start of the study. Researchers adjusted for factors including age, sex, mental illness and dementia in their comparison, but found those who had anxiety had a twofold higher risk of the condition. They were also more likely to suffer from other symptoms such as depression, sleep disturbance, fatigue, high blood pressure and balance problems. Dr. Juan Bezo Averez, an epidemiologist at UCL who led the study, said, Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disease worldwide, and it is estimated that it will affect 14.2 million people by 2040. Anxiety is known to be a feature of the early stages of Parkinson's disease, but prior to our study, the prospective risk of Parkinson's in those over the age of 50 with new-onset anxiety was unknown. He added, by understanding that anxiety and the mentioned features are linked to a higher risk of developing the disease over the age of 50, we hope to be able to detect the condition earlier and help patients get the treatment they need. Dr. Daniel Truong, a neurologist in California who was not involved with the research, told Medical News Today. The study provides compelling evidence linking anxiety to an increased risk of developing Parkinson's disease in individuals over 50. The findings suggest that, new onset, anxiety may be a prodromal symptom, highlighting the importance of early detection and intervention. Dr. Clifford Siegel, a neurologist also in California, said he would not use anxiety to diagnose patients. Many people worry about how the diagnosis will affect their lives, so it can cause anxiety at times. Many people worry because they think Parkinson's is.